let me talk to you guys first of all i want to say thank you very much for all your love all your support like it sounds bad but i am glad that i am not the only one in the same situation if i am the only one i will be so scared but i am so glad that i am not the only one in the same issue but yeah welcome back to another video of me trying to conceive baby number two so today i'm going to talk about my chemical pregnancy Woof. yeah yeah number two this is two times and i have been investigating and i've been watching video of women going through the same thing I saw all your comments as well and I want to say thank you very much for sharing and I want to also want to say thank you very much for your support because it helps it helps you guys saw what happened and I'm going to talk to you with you guys what's next next thing to do and what's next for me for us what's next for us and yeah i'm not pregnant so far after the day that i tested positive the next day i tested negative which was what the same thing happened to us months ago i cannot remember how many months ago but i have the video as well on youtube that we tested positive and then the upper day the next day we tested negative and i remember that period because we have been trying to conceive for two years plus now it is hard but i know that it's harder for people that are trying to conceive for baby number one but still still hard yeah to be seeing all negative 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 results and you know that you're trying all your best so um we got our first negative our first positive result month ago we got our positive and then the next day we got our negative and i was so frustrating i was so 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 unhappy i was so de depressed so disappointed like why what am i doing wrong and knowing that that time was only my first time like my first time experiencing something like that before I don't know if I have experienced it because I read that a lot of women do experience it but they don't know because of if you don't track your pregnancy, if you don't do pregnancy tests, you don't know if you are pregnant. Maybe they are pregnant and then their period will come and then it will just flush out. They will think that they will not know that they have passed through chemical pregnancy but if you're tracking your pregnancy doing like oh, <laughs> like what i'm doing you will know if you have been through the chemical pregnancy or not i don't know if i make sense but yeah so fast forward it from months ago to this month i got my positive test again and then i was so so excited my husband wasn't that excited, which I explained to you guys the reason, because he was trying to protect me, he was trying to protect my emotion, he was trying to make me not to get too emotional or not me not to get into it so much because the same thing that happens to us a few months ago might happen to us again, so he's trying to protect me. Why me? I was so excited. I was so happy. I'm like, yes, baby, we are pregnant again. It's happening again. The Lord have done it again. Yeah. So that was why he was taking it as a joke in that video. And then the next day, it came out negative. <sighs> I was so sad. I was like... But this time around, as I told to you guys before, this time around, I wasn't that emotionally broken. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, 
I wasn't feeling the same, the, this feeling that I was feeling this time around wasn't like last, it wasn't like a few months ago because of I've already experienced it and I've already built myself to expect the good and the bad and the ugly. So um, I was prepared. But at the same time, I cannot hide my emotion. I was happy, excited. I refused to think about that something like that has happened before. I was so excited and yeah, it happened again. I'm like, it is what it is. It's God's will. Then three days after the negative result, my period came. I cannot remember when was that my period delayed one day and my period came so my period was exactly like how it was i know oh, i'm giving too much information <laughs> i'm giving too much information it was exactly like how it was a few months ago when i had the same experience bleeding too much Ble period was i was bleeding a lot it was long and also, I had a lot of blood clots in that period. <sighs> yeah. It sounds, it looks, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I am full of emotions now. And I'm just trying to think back of, like, uh, when I was on my period then, I was, like, looking at the blood, looking at the clots, I'm like... This could have been my baby going like that. This could have been. <sighs> but anyway, anywho, I just want to say that you guys are not alone. If you are going through the same thing, you are not alone. Somebody asked me what did I did different this month than other months. To be honest, this month, this month was sorry last month um, my ovulation last month last month was the month that we traveled to blackpool and then i didn't do much i just lived my life i lived my life i enjoyed myself try not to think that i'm trying to conceive to be honest i wasn't trying to conceive i was trying to conceive but at the same time i wasn't trying to conceive do i make sense i was on holiday we just enjoying ourselves and it is what it is it will it's if it happens it happens if it not happens it doesn't happen because we have been trying to conceive for months now and for and then i took a break and then back again trying to conceive but it was on holiday i'm like i'm going to enjoy myself in this holiday i'm not going to put myself into this and not depression and not enjoying myself but yeah i did enjoy myself so i didn't do anything the only thing i did different was like enjoy myself and i had wine and to compare with other months i don't drink alcohol i just concentrate to trying to conceive but this time around i drank wine i just enjoyed myself enjoyed my holiday that's what i did i didn't do ovulation test i just do a, a do our thing enjoy life so that's what i did different this time but yeah the end didn't happen so then the previous month that i had the same experience i was tracking my ovulation tracking pregnancy tracking everything I wasn't drinking, I wasn't, I, I was just eating the right food, taking my vitamins, like doing the right thing. And it happened and then it was chemical pregnancy. So this month I was on holiday, I just enjoyed myself. And it happened, but it was chemical pregnancy. So I believe in God and I believe that it is what it is when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. As I always tell you guys. And I want to tell you guys to keep on praying, keep on believing in God. Just don't lose hope. Just know that it will happen one day. So never lose hope and keep on, keep on the positivity. Keep on doing what you know that you are doing right. If you want to take a break, just take a break. 
and then come back and keep on trying. Maybe when you take a break, it might be the time that you conceive. So don't be afraid of doing something that your body wants. You know your body more than anybody else. And also go and get some check. You go and have some check. Check your body just to make sure that you are okay while trying, trying to conceive. And just pray. Be strong. Pray hard and leave the rest to God because... God knows the best. He knows the he say he's the final say. So yeah. Thank you guys very very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my savior.